In order to automate marketing campaigns and be in touch, a series of rules needs to be put in place that determines what records are added or removed from campaigns. These rules are called triggers, and understanding their use in marketing automation will save you considerable time and effort. There are a few ways to set up triggers for a campaign. If you use the Quick Setup Wizard for your campaign, certain triggers may already have been added to the campaign as part of that process. If you want to learn more about the Quick Setup feature, please watch our Quick Setup Marketing Wizard training video in this series. For campaigns that you have already created or downloaded from the Content Exchange, you can easily add, edit, and remove triggers by editing the campaign. In the Marketing tab, open the Campaign list. To the right of a campaign, click the pencil icon to edit it. Here, you can then open the Triggers sub-tab to see what triggers are in place for the campaign. You can create a trigger for this campaign by clicking the Add Trigger button. Two more buttons will appear. You'll need to choose which database the trigger will apply to. If you want the trigger to look at your borrower records, click Add Mortgage Trigger. Add Partnership Trigger will instead look at your partner records. Next, you can set criteria that will be used to add or remove records from the campaign. The first line for each will say When. The drop-down menu to the right of this line can be used to choose the first criterion the trigger will look at for the record. You can scroll through these options or type in the search box above to narrow the list. For example, you may want a campaign to look for only purchase loans and not refinancing. In that case, you could go to the Mortgage section and choose Loan Purpose. Two new menus will appear to the right. In the second one, choose how the trigger will examine the information in the field you selected. In the previous example, you would choose Exactly Matches because you know the purpose of the loan you want to target. The third menu will have the available information options for the selected field. Here, you can choose what you want the trigger to look for in the field, and you can select multiple options if you need to by using the Select Multiple link. Continuing the previous example, you would choose Purchase here. Additional triggers can be set up to add more options or further refine your process. You can add records of a specific marketing sequence step or group, those from a specific zip code, or even records with information in custom fields you've set up for your business. You can also set triggers to remove records from campaigns below. This is important for marketing that is only relevant to clients or partners at a specific time. For example, you may want a newsletter campaign to go to all of your active partners, but you may want to stop sending them marketing email if you don't work with them anymore. In that case, you can add a trigger to the Remove section for when marketing sequence does not equal, then select multiple for active partner and preferred partner. This way, the campaign will automatically stop for any partners that you remove from those sequence steps. Once you've set all of the rules for a campaign, click the Add Trigger button below. You will be returned to the Triggers sub-tab for that campaign, and you'll see the new trigger listed below. Here, you can edit or delete triggers using the icons to the right, or delete multiple triggers using the checkboxes to the left and the button above the list. The Check Database Against Trigger button can be used to see what records will be affected by a single trigger. When you run this check, you will get a short report on the number of records that would be added to the campaign, the number that would be removed, and how many times the campaign would be started for matching records. You will then be given options to start or stop the campaign for those records. You can also use the Reverse Trigger button to stop the campaign for all records that were started by this trigger. You can also add triggers without having to edit a campaign first. In your Marketing tab, open the Campaign Triggers sub-tab. 
Instead of listing automation triggers for a specific campaign, this page will show all active triggers and sort them by campaign. When you click the Add Trigger button here, you will be prompted to choose a campaign for the new trigger from a drop-down menu. You can type into the search box here to narrow results. Otherwise, adding triggers this way follows the same process as before.